Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, here's a look at that charging station out here in the workshop that I told you I wanted to hook up. Finally got it up and running today. And I'm very happy about it and I'll go over what I've done. You'll recognize a lot of these components that I've used in other systems. And I keep reusing them because they're working well. So currently I have uh, just 100 watts coming in right here, coming into the uh, solar panel isolator, which I like to have so you can disconnect your solar panels at a flip of a switch. Charge controller is that uh, Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller MPPT7515. I reviewed this Alpha 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter on an earlier video. Continue to use it. Have had zero problems with it. It's working well. It's going to be perfect to uh, just add into this little charging station in case I want to run a little auxiliary power as well. And then a lot of these other components you've seen before. Got my negative bus bar. 50 amp breaker from the Victron to the positive bus bar. I've got a kill switch over here that I use in addition to having it fused. Uh, I just like the, the ability to press that little yellow button, shut my system down. Uh, that's the reason I add these as well. Just so I can shut everything off at a push of a button make sure I've disconnected all power and then I can go to turning wrenches if I need to. And then this is that uh, ILEE battery monitor shunt or QWERC, whatever it's called they, online. They're both the same. I've used them under the uh, various names. They work well. And what we're doing with the charging station today is putting a charge a first charge on this 12.8 uh, volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery by Red Odo. Uh, going to take it all the way up to a full charge. Yeah, it's going to take a while at the rate I'm going. That's why I'll probably throw another panel on it tomorrow. It's been raining intermittently today, keeping me in the shop. But I am making progress. And if I just look at that up to 52.8 percent charge there's not a lot of sun coming in and like i said i've just got a 100 watt panel on it right now but as soon as we get this up to a full charge next day or two <clears throat> uh, i've got a pretty fun look, little experiment we're going to uh, put on this to show uh, just how great this battery is so yeah if you've watched my other videos you see a lot of these uh, similar components. I'm switching over slowly with all of the systems to the uh, Victron charge controller. Uh, I like that the best of any controller I've ever used by far. So that's it. Just a nice little power station. So I can be charging batteries, moving them around as I need to. And that's what I wanted out here in the shop was uh, just a charging station and maybe a little auxiliary. I have another power system out here in the shop that I've showed you but that's the charging system. And here I'm going to show you uh, for my purposes why I'm a big fan of the Victron. It's taking all the guesswork out of uh, programming for charging these lithium batteries. So if I go to the app you can see the lights flashing on the charge controller as it's connecting. And then it can give you uh, what's been happening today. Uh, this last graph here, I'm not sure you'll be able to read that fine print, but at any rate, slow charging day, only 80 watt hours so far today. You can check the current status. As you can see, I'm only pulling in 15 watts. It's really not a good... Uh, solar day today up to 13.26 so yeah tomorrow morning I think I'll stick on another solar panel get this up to at least a 200 watt 
charging station, but I really like, I should also mention that I have this set on the lithium iron phosphate profile. So it takes it up to 14.2 volts, holds it there for a couple of hours, and then it goes into the, the float at 13.5. So I, I'm just loving this combination. I can be sitting anywhere uh, within probably 45 feet of that charge controller and know exactly what condition the batteries are in. So that's been the project out here for the past oh, couple of days, hit and miss. We're going to put a workout on this thing coming up. All right, everybody. Hope you had a good weekend. Talk to you later. Aloha.